Good afternoon, live from Baltimore. It's the Babe Ruth Museum. Sean, you're here to give us the tour. Uh, the centerpiece, as Keith has pointed out, are some cards immediately to the left here. What makes this set of baseball cards so special? Well, we're really excited. This is a brand new exhibition for us called The Making of a Legend. Of course, Babe Ruth is a legend. You know, he's the greatest American icon out there. At least we like to think so. Um, but we got to feature uh, 15 baseball cards dating from 1914. And of course, the centerpiece of that collection is Babe Ruth. Uh, not as a Red Sox, not as a Yankee, but when he is signed by the Baltimore Orioles. Uh, it's extremely rare uh, card, sold for millions of dollars. It's on loan to us currently, and we are thrilled and proud to be able to uh, exhibit it here. Uh, super Terp, Keith Cavanaugh said we have to come down and see this, and he pointed out a baseball bat that's over your shoulder. I'm going to pan to that and get you both in the picture. Yeah. That's Babe Ruth's actual bat? That bat, that bat is one of Babe's bats from the 1927 season. And of course, that's the season he set the home run record. Uh, it is one of the prize pieces in our collection here at the museum on display on a regular basis, um, but we're happy to incorporate it into this new show, The Making of a Legend. You know, Babe as a hitter uh, is certainly is what made him great. Uh, what most people in the world know him for is a home run, a home run hitter, and of course, the greatest there ever was. Hi, I'm Maryland wide receiver Rakim Jarrett. If you've been hurt in a car crash, people will tell you you need a lawyer. My mom says you need my lawyer, the Jack Litch Law Group. Find out why clients, judges, and other lawyers call us the big dogs from the small firm. Every single lawyer at the Jack Litch Law Group was honored by best lawyers in America. In the Jack Litch Law Group was the best decision anyone in my family has ever made, other than my decision to play football at the University of Maryland. At 855 Big Dog One. Don't just get a lawyer, get, get the, the lawyers. lawyers. If you're hurt, listen to my mom and bite back with the big dogs. Sean, how do you guys know, or, or how does the whole world know, that those are the actual cards? Those cards have actually have been here before uh, at the museum. We know their history, we know the provenance, we know the family that collected them. Uh, and the man that collected them, Archibald Davis, was a kid uh, back in those days, collected the cards, put them in a shoebox, and his family has passed them down since. Now, of course, they, in today's market, they have to be authenticated, the provenance has to be checked, and of course, they check out. About how much is that collection? That collection right now is an astonishing $10 million. Uh, now, of course, the Babe Ruth card is the most significant of the cards, but all of them have value. And of course, we like to think things have not only a financial value, but a historical value, as well as a sentimental value. And uh, this particular set has all three of those. I'm Wayne Viner from Viner Four Gates. We make your company work. I'm Arthur Smith with Viner Four Gates. Two-factor authentication is a must-have in today's world. Security training for your company is a must. The crooks are getting smarter. We have to give you the edge to fight back. One of the things I'm most excited about in having this collection of baseball cards is that it helps us tell the story of how Babe got his nickname. And as most people know, you know, he was being hazed and teased by his teammates. And the, the coaches and managers said, back off, he's Jack Dunn's baby. Uh, and that's how Babe Ruth got the nickname. He was George H. Ruth, George Herman Ruth, and after the first time, he's George Babe Ruth, Jack Dunn's baby.